I'd like to speak to you today about your judgment. You see, every single person in this world is going to die one day. And when they do, they're going to stand before God. And on that day, they're going to have to give an account to Him for everything that they've ever done in this life. Every sin you've ever committed, God sees everything. And He cannot forgive you for your sin without an atonement. You see, God is a holy God. And because of the reason, He cannot let us into heaven in our sinful state. Just like Adam and Eve, when they sinned in the garden against God, he told them that the day they eat of that tree is the day that they die. Well, on that day, every single human being that ever came after Adam died spiritually with him. And we have all sinned against God. And we will all stand before him condemned. And because he's a righteous God, he cannot judge us based on who told a big lie versus who told a little lie. Because we are all guilty of sinning against him. We have all broken his law. And because he is a just God, he is going to sentence us to the same condemnation. We will spend an eternity in hell without redemption from sin. But because God loves us, he came down 2,000 years ago in the person of Yeshua and he died on the cross for our sin. So that whoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. You see, God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the whole world might be saved through him. God spoke through the prophet Ezekiel and said that there will come a day when he would take away our stony hearts, when he would give us a heart of flesh, when he would put his Holy Spirit within us. And you see, when Yeshua came down from heaven, he came through our sin death so that we could receive eternal life, so that we could receive reconciliation back to God. God spoke through the prophet Isaiah and said that the servant would come and suffer for the sins of God's people. That we deserve the punishment, but he took it upon himself to die in our place. You see, this is not about religion. This is not about Christianity. This is not about keeping the law of Moses and trying to appease the wrath of God by the things that you do. There is nothing you can do that will ever be enough to compensate for the things that you've done wrong. And God sees everything. Everything you have ever done, he sees it all. And there are things in this life that you would have done that you wouldn't want anybody to see. But God knows, he knows everything. But he doesn't, he is not come to condemn you. He's come to save you, to give you eternal life, to forgive you of every sin you have ever committed. He can save you today. He can change your heart. He can give you new life. He can give you forgiveness of sin. He can give you eternal life. And you don't have to do nothing except believe in Yeshua. Believe that he died on the cross for your sin was buried and raised on the third day. And if you confess this with your mouth and believe this in your heart, he will save you. You see, there is not multi ways to God. This is not about religion. Religion, Catholicism, Jehovah Witnesses, Judaism, they all teach you the same thing. They teach you that you have to do things in order to receive eternal life or something from God. Well, I'm here to tell you today that there is nothing you can do. Nothing. You are a sinner by nature. You are dead in your sin. When Adam sinned, we as human beings, we died with him. But when Yeshua came 